somebody say hallelujah and and people that have little faith are folks that are scared of how oh i can't give to god because i i don't know how i'm going to pay my bill that's what little faith does somebody say glory to god i don't know how to sow into god because i don't know how I'm, I'm, my bills is i don't know how the devil begin to bring fear to you somebody say hallelujah look at this look at this somebody say neighbor don't allow the love of money to challenge god's supreme authority over your heart don't allow the love of money to challenge God's supreme authority over your heart. Because when the Lord is saying, give me this, the devil is telling your heart, don't give. Don't do that. Which means the devil is challenging the supreme authority of God over your heart. And that is born by little faith. You don't deal with God based on what you can do. You deal with God based on what he can do. We hear it in church, but we don't practice it. Somebody say glory to God. Somebody say glory to God. Jesus told them many, multiple times, oh, you have little faith. Look at the book of Matthew chapter 14, verse 28 to 31. Cassandra, read for me. Put it on the board, please. Matthew 14, 28 to 20, 31. Matthew 14. Verse 28. Yeah. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, uh -huh. bid me to come unto thee uh -huh. on the water. Uh -huh. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, uh -huh. he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Let's stop there. Let's stop there. Somebody look up at me. Somebody say, Peter walked on water. Say that again. Say, Peter walked on water. Now, I didn't say you should go walk on water. That's not my message. Are you hearing me? Jesus did not walk on water to perform. Jesus walked on water because there was no boat. Anyone that say you better walk on water because Jesus walked on water, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Jesus walked on water because there was no boat. He was not intending to walk on water. But when he came out, there was no more boat. He had to do what he had to do. He walked on water. Today, you know, that's why Jesus said, greater work than I did shall you do. So when you come out in the water, there is no water. You need to fly plane and fly above water. If there was plane those days, Jesus would not walk on water. He will book one flight and fly over. Listen to me now. This is we. When somebody begins to tell you, oh, Jesus, walk on water, you better walk on water. No, 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 no. That's not how the Bible is talking about it. Walk on water, you are going to drown. You're tempting God. That was, it was necessary for Jesus to go to where he was going. He had to command the water to carry him. Somebody say, glory to God. Because we are doing greater work now. If there were sheep, cruise ship, and canoes, and all kinds of things, Jesus would walk on water. The Bible says he came and there was no sheep. And he began to walk on top of water. And Peter saw him. Peter said, Master. He said, Jesus said to him, Peer not. He said, he said, it is I. Peter said, if it is you, ask me to come with you. What did Jesus do? Jesus said, come on. Jesus said what? Come on. Now here it is. Peter alone on the water, he will drown. But Jesus was on the water. So that is why I tell him, come on, as long as I'm here and your eyes is on me, you are going to walk on water. Somebody say hallelujah. When you are believing God for something powerful and extraordinary, you cannot look upon your father. Not anybody because can nobody help you like Jesus can. Peter, Peter came out let's forget about him drowning for a minute Peter Peter Uncle Peter I wonder how that felt Peter stepped on gravity and walked on water forget about him drowning for just a minute he walked on water Peter think about that but while he was walking on water his eyes was fixed Upon somewhere he kept walking on water he kept walking on water as long as his eyes were fixed he kept walking on water but the Bible said the moment there was there was storm there was wind Peter took his eyes off the stability of his life when a man takes his eyes off God things begin to fall apart 
you begin to do things you've told yourself you will never do. You begin to take steps you're not supposed to be taking. And you begin to drown. Then your, your dream will not become a reality. It remains just a dream. May that not be your portion. Peter walked on water but his eyes was taken away from Jesus. As soon as his eyes was taken away from Jesus, his little faith kicked in. Doubt came in. Because little faith are choked by circumstances. Just because you're excited and happy and jumping doesn't mean that you don't have problem in your life. But you have decided to look upon Jesus who is the author and the finisher of your faith. Not because everything is okay, but because I know that I ain't got solution to this problem. The only person that can solve it is Elohim. The Bible says, where does my help come from? My help cometh from the Lord. I will set my eyes upon the hill from whence cometh my help. But when your eyes is taken over, away from you, or put your eyes in your bank account, put your eyes in anybody else, you will see how those things evaporate in a minute. When you look at God, things that are supposed to kill you begin to work for you. Peter walked on water, and the Bible said, Peter walked on water to the extent that he, he, he walked on water. Here they, look at this now. He walked on water, and while he was looking around, the Bible said, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy work. Crazy, really crazy work. These people, right? The Bible said, Peter began to sink. That doesn't make sense. You don't begin to sink. You either sank or you are up. He said, Peter began to sink. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say Peter began to sink. Somebody say he began. Which means his leg went in. His knee went in. His ankles went in. Somebody say I'm not dead yet. My leg may be in. My waist may be in. My stomach may be in. But I'm still here. As long as I can lift my hands and call on the Lord, whatever the devil plan will not come to pass in my life. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say glory to God. Look at neighbor. Say neighbor. Anything that tried to drown you. Lift your hands and call on the name of Jesus. He is the author of salvation. Peter. What, what, what's this? Peter began to sink and Jesus did nothing. Peter began to sink. Jesus didn't say nothing. For the Bible says ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find there is no such thing as i ask too much i ask too much i troubled god too much he wants you to trouble him knock on heaven early hours of the morning call on the master wear heaven out and you will see favor in your life in other words when you are about to pray angels say hey that guy is on it again have the master sent anybody to him? He don't let us rest. Somebody say glory to God. Peter began to sink. And Peter, all of a sudden, when he's about to get here, many of us, when we began to sink, we look for who to call. Can I call my sister? Can I call my brother? Can I call my uncle? That my, oh, can I call? No, there are problems that your sister, your uncle, your brother cannot help you with. Amen. You need God. Amen. Somebody say, I need God. You need to call on spiritual backup. You need to call on spiritual backup, spiritual, spiritual soul. You need to call what they call uh, the caravan. The cavalry, I mean. Only one person can become your whole cavalry. His name is Jesus. And Peter began to sing and he called the father, Master, help! And Jesus did what? Reached out his hand and drew him up. And he told him, why did you doubt? O ye of little faith. Many of us look at the wind blowing around you and the devil tell you you're never going to be who God said you were going to be. Your home is never going to be at peace. Your life is never going to work well. The devil is a liar. Somebody say God has a plan. Say that again. Say God has a plan. Everyone that expect you to fall, they will watch you rise. Anyone that expect you and your husband to fall, you and your wife to fall, they will see you rise. Somebody say amen like thunder. Whatever they expect your life to fail, it shall not work. In the name of Jesus. Believe me when I tell you there are people hoping that they don't walk. I'm going to see how they're going to make it. 
there are people your dressing offends the living day life you are dressing well looking good they look at you like you owe them money you are happy excited your smile they just look at you like you have poop in your body you didn't do nothing i have found out you don't have to know anybody for them to hate you oh god they will just resent you you've never met them you've never spoken to them they somebody say hallelujah you're looking good now they were not there when you were suffering they were not there when you were going to hell they were not there when you were crying in the night they were not there when you were in pain now god don't bless you and they try to somebody said the devil is a liar they were not there when you were lonely they were not there when you were crying they were not there when you were praying every day fasting and praying and calling on god and now they want to eat what you walked out nobody will eat the fruit of your labor Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Crying to God. Yeah. Keeping yourself holy for God. Not because you were not tempted. Not because the devil didn't say nothing. You just chose Lord. If I perish, I perish. I'm going to stay right here. And now somebody's coming to your life like they came to the last few scenes of a movie. They look at you and say, how did they get here? You didn't come when the movie started. You didn't come when the movie started, man. You don't know what I've been through. See, when I shout in church, I'm shouting because of where I'm coming from. When I pray in church, I'm praying because of how far God has brought me. So, sister, don't blame me for shouting. Don't blame me for jumping. I've come too far now. I could have given up. But God, I could have let go. But God, I could have thrown in the tower. But God, I could have quit. But God, somebody make some noise tonight. Make some noise, make some noise. Glory to God. The devil is a liar. It was hard. Just because I'm looking good, that mean it's over. God just showed me that He's still with me. Somebody say glory to God. That is why He said, Though you walk to the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil. For thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. They prepare a table before me and the poor oh God. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. There is a different between the enemy attacking you when you got nothing versus the enemy attacking you when you are blessed Amen. see the enemy attacking you when you got nothing have no power but the ones that are dangerous are the ones that attack you when you're blessed but those ones too don't know what they are doing can i go deeper if you are blessed and you have no enemy you don't have blessing you have not been really blessed but when you are really really blessed you will find out oh god have you ever told somebody to come look at your new car and it looks like you did something bad brother can i show you my new car <laughs> oh really? Oh, we got that too. Oh, yeah, I got camera on it too. Okay. You sure you can pay for this, brother? Oh, yeah, I got navigation too. Oh, you got Siri on there too. <laughs> they don't know that you used to drive a car. That sing twinkle twinkle little star. They don't know that your car. <laughs> I don't, 
I remember when I came to America and I bought a car. This car was manufactured by principalities. This car have no wiper and the glass don't wind up. It has two lights that come up, doesn't go down. It's a stick shift. When somebody just enter the car, it dies. When I enter, it move. Before I enter, I have to pray. Sometimes I have to pack it on the heel. <laughs> I have to pack it on the heel. You know, and, and sometimes I have to wait for all the members to go home. <laughs> all the members got to go home. And I got, what is his name? Um, what, uh, your husband is, is late now. Marvin, I said, Marvin, stay behind. Marvin will always stay with me. I said, Marvin, let's do this. I will enter the car. I know it's not starting because I've stayed in church for two hours and the battery, don't, the battery for this two hour journey. <laughs> I said, glory to God. Marvin, come on. Glow. It was Ford Probe. One car from hell. It has one station that works. That was when I discovered a lady called Delilah. B98.5. That's all I listened to. You will hear Delilah. I said, the devil is a liar. <laughs> so in the midnight 2 a.m. I've been church praying in that place drug dealers are smoking right there raping women right there I can't count how many girls I've set free deliver them from rape and I know my car can't run too much now so I park it on a slope somebody say glory to God and this was how people don't understand how you started and when they look at you they think you're, you're, you're crazy they don't know what you've been through. They don't even know that you lived in your car. They don't know that you're about to be homeless. They don't even know you didn't have food to eat. They don't even know you couldn't feed your family. They don't understand what you've been through. And they look at you shouting and say, glory to God. They say, what is coming over her? Jesus came over me. I've been through too much. That is why do not apologize. Listen, do not apologize when God has blessed you. That is why in this church, my wife knows, Marvin knows, I don't really count on church money. I'm believing God to, I told you, what, what's him? I said, I'm going to change my car, my Lexus, right? I haven't changed it yet. I'm waiting for March or April. Because my credit is strengthening a little bit. And they are making it good. <laughs> Somebody say, glory to God. They've been calling me. I say, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. But when they come out, you say, oh my God, a pastor, huh? these are what church people do. No, 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 no. I told God, in this land, you told me to preach the gospel. Remember, I wanted to be a drug dealer. I wanted to be a, a politician in Africa. And you told me to become a preacher. So you better not let me get poor. No, 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 no. And I don't want my people to be poor either. That is why I'm believing God to take me to a place. One day I will come to church and I say, set 10 people that have no car. You got new, new cars outside there and carry it. Not just, it's not only Oprah can do that. You don't only give to pastor. They have to give back to you too. You can be a pastor and see your people suffering and you are quiet. Time to time, give something. You don't receive, you can't give. You don't give, you can't receive. Somebody say glory to God. Time to time, shake somebody with a hundred dollars. Shake them with a thousand dollars. Just say glory to God. You have to understand this principle. This principle. Somebody say amen. Somebody say glory to God. Just that when I do it, I say don't do ten nobody. Hey. So don't do ten nobody. Because I don't want nobody thinking I'm being partial. You got to understand. You have to understand. If you don't exercise faith, nothing works for you. They just can live by faith. People don't know where, when, 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 they, when they see me, people, people that know me see me coming with my car, they say, oh, that's the pastor. Because my car sing one song. (laughs) 
and that, I mean, the, I mean, the, I drove that car for a long time. It, the, that was when I know that the grace of God is good, because the grace was holding the car. Don't you follow my son? Well, I will clean the car real good. Before somebody will say, Pastor, can I use your car? Say, use it. They start it, it doesn't work. But once I enter, when rain is falling, I got a problem. I got to do this way. The eye never closes. Somebody say, glory to God. But one thing a child of God must never do. Never forget where you came from. Amen. If you forget where you came from, pride will climb on you and you can't get to where you're going. Do you hear me? Always remember that this was not you. It was God. Somebody say glory to God. Is anybody listening to me? Let's wind up now. Somebody say man. Little faith is stifled by fear. But great faith, great faith produces boldness little faith is stifled by fear but great faith produces what boldness somebody say glory to god write down Matthew chapter 9 18 to 22 let's read that before we go before we go on Matthew chapter 9 18 to 22 read for me Beverly please it's on the board Verse 18, yeah. while he spake these things unto them, uh -huh. behold, there came a certain ruler uh -huh. and worshipped him, saying, uh -huh. my daughter is even now dead, uh -huh. but come and lay thy hand upon her, uh -huh. and she shall live. Mm -hmm. And Jesus arose and followed him, and so did his disciples. Uh -huh. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood uh -huh. 12 years uh -huh. came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. Uh -huh. For she said within herself, uh -huh. if I may but touch his garment, uh -huh. I shall be whole. Uh -huh. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Uh -huh. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Did you hear that? Thy faith. That is how, what great faith does. The, her circumstance could have made her not to go to Jesus. She would complain. I smell. I stink. I ain't got nothing to wear. I ain't got nothing to wear. Who's going to take me there? She went with boldness. She, she, she despised what she was dealing with. And she went with boldness. And God moved. Let me tell you something. You don't have to apply for a job you qualify for. I'm going to say that again. You don't have to apply for a job you have degree for. Is somebody not the boss? Why can't you apply to be boss? Oh, you know, you know, you know, those are people. May God give you miracles you are not qualified for. Things you didn't have experience in. Things you have never done before. May God promote you to the place. As soon as he does, he will give you the know-how to do it. There are many of you right now doing a job. You're doing the job you were not hired for. But you're doing the boss's job. And they're paying you something lower. It's time for your pay to match your work. As a matter of fact, it's time for your work to be slow and your pay to be higher. That is why as a child of God, you have to remain faithful to God. You have to make sure that purity is in your heart. The next one. Little faith focuses on things around them physically. But great faith focuses on spiritual things. Little faith focuses on physical things around them. And great faith focuses on spiritual things. In other words, anyone that has great faith deals with things from the spirit. They don't look at the circumstance before they deal with it. Somebody say glory to God. You can write down Matthew 6, 25 to 34. And write down Matthew chapter 8, 22 to 27. Then you can read Matthew chapter 16, 5 to 11. Last one. Listen to this. This is very important now. The last one. 
Little faith makes decision based on what is possible for man. But great faith makes decision based on what is possible for God. Little faith makes decision based on what, what is possible for what? For man. Go to the book of Matthew 17. Matthew 17 from verse 14 to 21. Read. Verse 14. Yeah. And when they were come to the multitude, uh -huh. there came to him a certain man uh -huh. kneeling down to him and saying, uh -huh. Lord, have mercy on my son, uh -huh. for he is a lunatic and sore vexed. Uh -huh. For oft times he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. Uh -huh. And I brought him to thy disciples and they could not cure him. Uh -huh. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, uh -huh. how long shall I be with you? Glory. How long shall I suffer you? Uh -huh. Bring him hither to me. Uh -huh. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. Uh -huh. And the child was cured from that very hour. Uh -huh. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, uh -huh. Why could we not cast him out? Uh -huh. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. Uh -huh. For verily I say unto you, uh -huh. If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, uh -huh. You shall say unto this mountain, uh -huh. Remove hence to yonder place, uh -huh. And it shall remove, And nothing shall be impossible unto you. Somebody say hallelujah. There is a difference between little faith and the faith of mustard seed. I'm going to bring that next Wednesday. The difference between little faith and the mustard seed faith. But today we are talking about little faith. Many of them, many, even disciples, were having little faith. Somebody say glory to God. To the extent that they prayed for more faith. And you never pray for more faith. I'm going to show you on Wednesday next week. Somebody say glory to God. Somebody say hallelujah. Read the book of Mark. I mean Matthew 9. From verse 1 to 8. Matthew 9. Verse 1. Yeah. And he entered into a ship and uh -huh. passed over and came into his own city. Uh -huh. And behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy, uh -huh. lying on a bed. Uh -huh. And Jesus, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of the palsy, uh -huh. Son, be of good cheer, uh -huh. thy sins be forgiven thee. Uh -huh. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves. Somebody said, Jesus saw their faith. What was in their faith? They, were, they have great faith. Because they came to the house. There was no road. There was no door open. Somebody said, just because there is no door, don't mean no hope is lost. There may not be a door, but something got to happen for you. You may not have a connection there, but you're going to get that job. Somebody said, glory to God. You may not have a capital, but that business will start. You may not have money, but that house will be built. Somebody say hallelujah. You have to understand faith don't work like man work. It doesn't work like man work. Faith does what your mind can comprehend. What you can understand. What your brain can even ascertain. Begin to think about. Faith will produce it. Somebody say glory to God. Somebody say hallelujah. Is anybody with me? Read Mark 2, verse 4. Mark chapter 2, verse 4. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mark 2, 4. Yeah. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, uh -huh. they uncovered the roof where he was. These people, that Jesus saw their faith. They uncovered. See, somebody say faith. Great faith is violence. Great faith pushes the door open. Great oh, somebody say hallelujah. May God grant you great faith. Great faith is never afraid. Great faith is not faced by the circumstance. No. Even when they say it is over, tell them in my eye it's not. When Lazarus was, they waited for Jesus to pray for Lazarus. Jesus told them, Lazarus, this sickness is not unto death. Is that right? That was what Jesus said. But Lazarus died. That must be discouraging. 
See, when you begin to have faith, the enemy begins to cause havoc to break your faith. But you should rejoice because when your faith is tested, your faith becomes strong. Jesus said, this sickness is not unto death. And yet, after two days, was Jesus wrong? This sickness is not unto death. When Jesus said the sickness was not unto death, even when Lazarus died, Jesus never confessed that. Jesus said, let's go for Lazarus is sleeping. Oh. Somebody say, faith, great faith has a language. You need to develop the language of great faith. Oh my God. Great faith makes people think you're out of your mind. You ain't got $2,000 in your bank account. You say, I'm going to buy that house. I'm going to build a house. Are you? Seriously. The devil come to you in the night and you, they are trying to attack you at night and you are, you, you're, you're terrified of your own bed. I ain't sleeping there. There is something there. Really? Do you know the fire you are under? The bed you sleep carries fire. Do you hear me? The Bible said, I will be a wall of fire all around you and the glory in the midst. So when demon come and lay on, for demon to come and lay on your bed, you need to check your prayer life. On your bed? Uh-uh. If it come one time, don't allow the second time. Whoop the devil's behind and teach him that you are a touch me not. Somebody say glory to God. Come into my bed? You ain't scared? You should get upset. This is a place where the Holy Ghost lies with me. Great faith person do not cower in the face of battle. You tell the devil, I see you. This will not happen again. Or somebody, or they diagnose you and the devil. I mean, if you know, when you are, when you are diagnosed with one thing, they never begin to call, call all other things. The doctor said one thing, but you are interpreting to be 15. Building a mountain out of a mohill. Somebody say glory to God. Is anybody hearing me? Do you take the Bible for granted? The Bible said, I will hide you in the secret place of my habitation. And the Bible also said, I will keep you in perfect peace. Whose heart and mind stays on me. The Bible said, my truth shall be your shield and butler. The Bible said, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He said, the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the noon by night. He said, you shall not be confounded, but your enemies shall be confounded. You will not be dismayed, but your enemies shall be dismayed. The Bible says, they will come in one way, but because of confusion, in seven ways, they shall flee. Who will see that speak it? And it come to pass when the Lord has not commanded. If they bring witchcraft against you, tell the witch. The Bible says, suffer the witch not to live. Don't pray for a witch to be saved. Oh, you know, I just want to pray for salvation. So that the witch can be saved. Let me tell you where a witch's heart, a witch's heart is. A witch's heart is behind them. It's not here. It's here and behind. In the demonic world. That's why when they enter in there, they never know mercy. Because conviction never come to them. For they sold their soul to the devil. So their flesh, their heart of flesh is hidden. The heart of stone is what they have. So no matter what you try to do, they never change. That's why God says, suffer them not to live. 
a woman came to me and said, Apostle, um, uh, I, have a, I feel like a, so a, a cat is crying on my door. In the night, the cat will keep coming to cry on my door. And as he was talking, I saw, I, as I saw birds dying around her house. And I said to her, do you have the olive oil that comes to I said, yes. I said, go, anoint your house. Anoint your house, anoint around. They said, there's a tree in my house. They said, anoint the tree too. And she finished anointing the tree. I said, when you anoint, open the whole window and don't be afraid of your neighbor. Speak loud. Why? Because I want the wind to carry her voice. And she spoke loud. And the morning she woke up, the cat was dead. And she was checking to see whether it's still the same cat. She was surprised how fast it happened. She was checking to see, is still the same cat that was crying? Since that day, the cat never cried again. Somebody said, glory to God. You don't, you don't play with witches. And no witch should come to this church. Because there's no mercy for you here. You are a witch. You don't, don't come here and don't touch any member here. I don't care whether you are here or outside the country. You touch any member, your death warrant has been signed. Because the Bible says, shepherd watcheth over their flocks by night. If I am a man of God, a covenant messenger of power, you touch my member, you're dead. Unless I don't know. Because I have the weapons of warfare. For the Bible say the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. To what? Pulling down a stronghold. You have to get, when the witch says too strong, take a sleepless night for a witchcraft. And make sure they understand that he that keepeth Israel neither sleep nor slumbers. May he that trouble you be troubled. Amen. May them that say you can't write, may they fall for your sake. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Every residue from your past, the Lord will give you a new garment. Amen. That the old one will catch on fire. Just, ask, just, just develop, pray that God will give you this, this great faith. So that little faith don't come to you no more. I have a dream that one day nobody in this church will look for $10,000 and not find it. Amen. I have a dream that one day nobody in this church will give room to the devil in the area of sin. Amen. I have a dream that one day nobody in this church will come to church and not be able to sow seed as they want to. That one day, your people, everyone in your family, will turn their eyes and they will look you up like that. Because of where God will place you. Amen. It might be rough right now, but it gets better. Amen. It might be crazy right now, because listen to me, any anointing that cannot be tested, that have not been tested, cannot be trusted. Amen. Let your anointing be tested. Amen. Everyone will see your story, then they will see your glory. Amen. They will know when you were in pain. For if God allowed them to see your pain, God will allow them to see your joy. Amen. Somebody say glory to God. May your faith become stronger. Amen. I say may your faith become stronger. Amen. May your spiritual life go to another level. May your work life go to another level. May your consecration go to another level. May your righteous life go to another level. In Jesus' name. Rise up on your feet as we pray tonight. Give God a praise right now. Come on. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Thank God for this message tonight. Bless his name. Thank him. Come on everybody. Thank him for this word. Thank him for his word. We glorify your name Jesus. We magnify your Holy Spirit. Let your name alone be glorified. Be exalted King of glory. Le kuta sata libra hika talabada. Le lebo shipra ikapa. Somebody bless his name tonight. Come on. Le kusendu ba kra ikata. Le lebo shata lumbre hikata ya. Le korobo shiba raba sanda. Re korobo shata liba sitani. Le bru kapa yada ba zonto liba ha. Le bo. Somebody thank God for this word. Thank him for it. Le morobo shiba ha. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we glorify you. We thank you. Lord, we, are, we, we pray for great faith. Great faith to God. I remove little faith from my heart. And I tap into great faith, oh God. I tap into the ability to gather great faith by your power. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Somebody say Holy Spirit. Somebody say Holy Ghost. From today, 
I will develop great faith. From today, I will develop great faith in the name of Jesus. Every little faith, today, I separate myself from you. My circumstance will not determine what I do. In Jesus' name. Somebody say glory to God. Somebody say glory to God. Give the Lord a praise today. Everyone lift up your offerings as we give to God tonight. have your offering lifted up let's pray spirit of the living God we bless your holy name we magnify you please give them an envelope we ask that your name be glorified bless our hands tonight in Jesus name please if you're giving your seed indicate what it is so that it don't be mixed up amen indicate what it is get up on your feet as we give hallelujah that's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. Alleluia. Alleluia. Everybody sing. That's what my song will be. And that's what my song. Come and give your offering, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody sing. That's what my song will be. Hallelujah. Evil what you mean. Let me hear you. Hallelujah. That's what my song will be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. Everybody sing. That's what my song will be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Hallelujah. Friday we are going to be here for prayer Father we bless you Father we know that everything you have spoken every one of them shall come to pass 2020 is a year of bumper harvest for it is a year of your power it is a year of your manifestation it is a year of demonstration of your power it is a year to stand tall and prove that God is indeed God thank you Holy Spirit I pray for every home I pray for every brother every sister every husband every wife every young child every older person today may the anointing of a force of a breaker be upon you may the grace of victory be upon you may the grace of victory be upon you in Jesus name somebody say amen look at your neighbor say take great faith receive great faith in Jesus name Good night and may the Lord bless you. Just a